Hello everyone, it's Sparkling Shine. Welcome to my channel. Coming today to show you a quick gift that you can give someone for Valentine's Day. Um, everyone know I love uh, the milk carton, so I'll show you what I put together and it's really simple. We'll probably do a process video uh, while I'm doing this. So let me move this to the side. And I'll show you a few of them that I did. Uh, it didn't take that long. This one I stamped. Um, this is a sentiment. Happy Valentine's Day from my um, Stampin' Up stamp. There's a lot of them in there. I'm using the one that says Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, this one is called Send With Love. It's from last year collection. I have a you know, a little paper clip here that I got from um, Target. And you put the little ribbon there. And inside you got some candies. This is the next one. It's just full of candies in here. I also put... Um, show you what else I put in here. I put like a little notepad. And one of the Dollar Tree ink pens inside it as well. So it would be a cute little gift. Uh, I'm going to have to give these out instead of what I had anticipated. Because it will take me a little bit longer. So I just want to um, come and do this project share. And then this is the last one which I will be filling up with candy. So um, let's get started if you want to learn how to make the milk carton right away. If you need a very fast, uh, you know, gift. And the paper size you're going to need is ten and a half by seven and three fourths. I get kind of nervous when I'm using directional paper, so I just want to make sure that I may um, not put it in the right direction. So I'm hoping I do. So I'm going to cut the seven and three fourths first, but based on this being directional paper, because I just really want to get it get it right and then I'll cut the ten and a half and I hope this is the right direction that I'm going in but if not I'll still use it and then you get your scoreboard and you're gonna score on the long side which is the ten and a half side you're going to score um, two and a half. Five. Seven and a half. And then 10. Then you're going to turn it on the short side. I'm going to look at the paper for a minute to see which way I want this to go. Um, this way, yeah. Turn it on the, the short side. You're going to go two and three eighths, which is the notch before the two and a half. And then six. <clears throat> and that's all you need for scoring. Put the scoreboard away. And then we're going to fold our lines. I'm hoping this paper doesn't crack. I'm just not going to use my um, bone folder. Yeah. And then on the side. Okay, so now this is what it looks like. So this side here, we're going to cut these two squares. Let me find a pen so I can mark where we're cutting. I'm going to cut here and here. And then we'll 
cut this side here. Okay, so this is what your paper should look like now. And then we're going to cut the bottom four. Just cut them straight up. And I think you should just minor it just a tad bit because you don't want it to close correctly. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm just watching my score lines. Okay. And now we're going to cut this side. This is your top. your layout should look now now <clears throat> this is the bottom right so we know this is the bottom so if you want to put like let me show you with this one here I made a heart window so I'm going to use my heart heart die cut and I'm going to cut um, a window in it so we're going to find our front piece first let's see this is our bottom so, uh, yeah, I got the arrows going up instead of down. Let's see. That's okay. I'm going to still use it anyway. Yeah, but when you're using directional paper, just be careful with uh, doing that. But this will be my front piece. So I'm going to take my pen and I'm going to mark this the front. I usually have a pencil, guys. And where is my cutter? My die cut. Oh my god, I just had it. Oh, here it is. So I'm going to take that and put it on the front. And then I grab me a piece of uh, washi tape to hold it down. like it's centered pretty good and then um, since I got the big shot I'm gonna have to fold this up so it can fit through because other than that I will be I wouldn't want to put this under because this will cut this I mean it could cut it but I really don't want it to be cut so give me one second Grab the big shot <clears throat> Cut this out right quick. I'm gonna have to invest in me one of them new Gemini machines. I hope I'm still in frame, guys. If I'm not, just tap on the camera, let me know. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, so slide this on through. Bring it back. Yeah, this should have been pretty good. Let me get this out of the way. And then I'm going to see it just pop right out. Look like it's, I didn't center it. Must have moved, but. What I like about it anyway um, is that, you know, you can keep your cutouts. 
these and, and use them for something else. Hearts can always be used. See how pretty these are? Cut out with the machine. Very pretty. Yeah. So, yeah. So, that's cut out. Now, we're going to go and... With the top part, you, you can cut your flap deep. It's flaps number two and number four. You can cut maybe like an inch off of them. So what I do is I fold these two down. I'm going to fold this one over. Fold this back. So these two can meet up. So your cut can be a little even when, you, when you're cutting across. So we just cut that much off, maybe like an inch, and there we have it. So I'm doing this pretty quick, so I'm going to use my ATG gun to seal this up. Oh, first, let's put some acetate uh, here. So let's see, I got a piece from uh, one of the packages. And I just cut, you know, for one of my uh, sticker packages or whatever, I'll just use this. It does the job, guys. And I'll just take it and measure it up to one of the squares, which looks like it's about maybe... I want to say three and a half inches, maybe. I don't know. I'm just doing it by eye. Cut it down a little bit. That way, cut it down this way. Let's see how it fits. Yeah. I'm just going to take some glue dots. And stick on there just for the sake of the video because I usually take my ATG and run it down but piece that's too I'm gonna have to take this off it was too far over I gotta bring it over some So, just so this, so it can stick. Okay, there we go. Now, this part here, we're going to run the ATG gun across it. One, two, and then I'm going to like, bring this over. Now, we're going to put our backs together. Now, make sure because this is your back here. So you're going to have to follow that flap so these fold in. I think that's how it goes. The back is on this side. Or maybe we'll do the front. Yeah, we'll do it this way. 
So yeah, we'll just fold it down and get some glue. And I'll put some on this side. Remember guys, it's just a quick, quick little gift that you're getting for someone. Candy and stuff. Sorry about that noise. I just knocked over something. Fold that in. Gotta make sure we all even around. So far, so good. Okay, now we're going to punch our holes. So, what I'm going to use is, uh, I usually use like the clothes pins to hold it while I do the punching. So, we'll use these two here. Sorry, I hope I'm still in frame, guys, so you can see what I'm doing. And you just let that just hold it in place for you. Because you want your punches to be correct. I'll get, you use any size hole punch, whatever you want. I just use the one from Dollar Tree for this. Just measure it up. Punch your hole. Move over. Punch your hole. And then, I'm going to put our stuff, our little gifts down in here. So with this one, I'll put, um, I think this one matches Happy Valentine's Day. Let's get our ink pen and throw down in there. Let's put one with the hearts. We'll put that down in here. Let me get our candy. This is some chocolates from the Dollar Tree. these down in here I think I'm gonna stick one on, on here with the glue with a uh, glue a glue dot just so you, you can see how pretty it is then you know they could see what type of candy these must be some very old glue dots because they don't want to work right. They want to come off the paper. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to stick that down here. I'll turn it around in a minute, guys. I'm just trying to get it and set it straight. These glue dots don't want to stick. Okay, we'll hope that holds. Okay. And then we get our ribbon. Um, what color ribbon do we want? Do we want red or pink? Well, I'll be right back, guys. Looking for me a ribbon. I should have had my ribbon up there. I thought I had. I don't know if this is enough. This is a piece of red. It might not be enough. Sorry guys, I'll be right here. You can put some red ribbon. I'm going to do some hot ribbon right here. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know if this looks right. Too much print, right? Let me try another one. Try this little piece. I hope it works. It doesn't take long to make this. I don't know why it's taking me so long because I usually just shell them out. But you know when you're on video. 
stuff. I always seem to go crazy. This one through here. Oh yeah, it'll work good. I'm gonna tie it in a bowl right quick, and then I'll. Uh, like I told you, I use that stamp from Stampin' Up. But you can use any stamp. I just like that. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh my god, this is a horrible ribbon. Oh, I'll try to get it right. Sorry guys. Slippery. Oh, this ribbon is not acting right. Okay, well, look. No, this I have to have this ribbon right, guys. I'm sorry. about the best I can get it I guess but well, that's about as best as it's going to act because it's this sheer ribbon like it don't want to tie oh it's okay okay well anyway that's that and then um, as I told you I used the, the stamp from Stampin' Up and I'm going to use my scallop punch to punch that out One of these arrow ribbons since the paper is arrow from Target. This is an arrow ribbon from Target. And uh, let me try the pink one, see how it looks. That's the pink one, but let me see how the red one looks. I think the red looks better, right? Yeah, the red one. So, I just need to use one more glue dot, guys. I'm going to put this glue dot on this paper clip. I mean, this uh, clothespin. So, you know, like... Uh, things are not going right for me on this video. Okay, there we go. Yeah. So, guys, that is it. Voila. Wouldn't have took that long if I had to have my ribbon and everything on top, right? Yeah. So, I mean, you can always, too, and, uh, embellish stuff. You know, make it look good. Make, make it your own. I got such a mess up here. Like I got these little, um, I got these little stickers here. I think I'm going to put a gold one in front of this one. What happened to the sticker? Oh my God. They don't want to stick. See, I'm telling you, I'm not having a good time over here. What? <clears throat> As they say to little kids, they be resilient, just snap back and keep doing it, right? So that's cute. So yeah, guys, we made this one on camera. So yeah, try to make some. They're so easy to make. And I think they're cute with the candy inside with the pen and the, um, the notepad that says Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah. Yeah, guys, so just want to tell everybody thanks for watching, and I hope you get a chance to make this, because it's really cute. So thanks for stopping by, guys, for a few minutes, 
and I'll see you in the next video. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye now.